Hi everyone, welcome to episode 3 of my survival let's play. Last episode, we built this starter house, which is epic and nice. And so for this episode, I will basically get an enchanting table set, set up here and also see what we can get done. I also would want to check out the zombie spawner and also try to save the villagers as we are about to build an iron golem farm so yeah I will get things prepared for that and gather up some resources well go down to the mines do some exploring Get up some iron as I'm short of iron. So yeah. I only have 25 irons. Which we need to get more. 28 in. So yeah. That I will get to the village try to save them we get a couple of dirt to close up the door and also try to get as many crops as possible So from here you can see my starter house doesn't look too bad just need a bit more detailing on the inside So I will plan to build a villager breeder as well for my iron golem farm. Okay, got some diamonds, iron, some armor. That's good. Break the chest. Where are all my villagers? What do you have? So for villagers, basically, they are good for early game. And the way to keep them safe is wait for them to go inside the house ring the bell then they will go inside the house the library and protection one that Get. some apples grab that Close the door. Grab some of this hebe. So I will do all this and I will be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
so I'm done capturing all the villages except for that guy there is hard to get but anyways I only need two so that will be good enough so I will head on to my base my starter house and I will be back So I'm back at my base and the loots we got are iron chest plate, iron helmet, some emerald and I'm gonna plant the carrots and potato so that we have enough for our iron golem farm and some potato enough put everything inside some feet so that we have enough to feed our cows So I think I have enough of leather and I'm going to make some oaks itself. Gather up some wood. Grab some sugar cane Right Grab some paper Some books Shelves, anyone will be good enough. Put my bookshelves here. It will be good enough. And I forgot to take my obsidian and diamonds to make a Enchanting table. Remember, I have two obsidians. There we go. Oh, wait, you need three. You need four obsidians. So I think I will do that later. First I need to find myself a lava sauce. Get more obsidian. So I will do that later. So yeah, I will be back. I will get up some resources. And I will be back. So I think I'm going to do a little caving remember the cave we found we dug down the stairs we found this cave oh there are mobs everywhere first i saw a lava here so i'm going to grab it with a bucket and also let's explore 
Yeah, lots of mobs everywhere. Dripstone cave. All right, we could make an infinite lava sauce. It's good. Grab some iron. Grab some of this. So for dripstone caves, you will find all this. All this. Dripstone block and pointed dripstone. For the use of the pointed dripstone, you can get lava sauce, infinite lava sauce, or water sauce. I will show you later on how I would do that. Diamond. Don't mind me. One, two. Only two. Grab more of these. If these are on the top, if the dripstones are on the top. You better be careful because once you break it it will hurt you might hurt you if you stand underneath see so it will hurt you and yeah. enough grab more of this light up the area Get off from here. I will come back when I got fortune. Okay, I think my lava generator, I will do it here. box break that put the dripstone here and grab some iron to make cauldron and 
find my iron. Dang it, it's not enough. So we got to smelt some iron. Oh, I have some here, alright. Make a cauldron. One will do. Put it at the bottom. And uh, find my way up. Put your lava bucket there. And you are done. You will have infinite lava. It will take some time for the lava to drop. But after that, you will get infinite lava. Then we can start making our obsidian generator. So I've gathered up all my things to make a hunting table. Do that. Diamonds. There we go. They are enchanted. Let's try some stuff. Get my lapis. Put it here. We should get level 30. Yep. Fortune tree. On our first try. That was lucky. It's C4. Alright, that's good. Piercing. I'm breaking tree. That is tempting. Did we? Try. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Now I'm stuck back at level 28. So, yeah, I will find ways to get levels so that we can enchant more and so I was planning to go towards the zombie spawner that we found on episode 1 and try to make a spawner out of that XP farm. So, yeah, let's get over there. See what we can do. Oh, lava. Been gathering up some lava buckets as well. Right, let's get that over there. Grab my crafting table. So I head over there and I will be right back. So we are here. And I haven't opened up the loots yet. Got some rings. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear this whole area up. And I will be right back.
Alright, so I am back. I pretty much dug out all this area where we will work with. And for the zombie spawner, I dug out 5x5 five five. on each side. 5 here, 5 here, 5 here, and 5 at the back. To make my spawner, and for going up and down, I dug out a hole. Later, I'll put in water source. And so, yeah. So, I will put in the killing chamber and everything. And I will be right back. Alright, so I'm done with my mob spawner. As you can see, just a basic mob spawner. But instead of putting the water, water source at the side, on each corner, I put it all along the side. So that it drops down to a single line and they go all the way up there round here and come here and go up so if I bring you up here you will see that I have the zombies dropping down from here so yeah it's just a simple mod farm Just a drop shoot, and then you can just one hit kill. Okay. And just put a hopper facing this way to the chest, and there you go. There you go, your basic zombie spawner farm. So that's all for my episode today. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.